Okay guys, if you look in our previous episodes, I've shown you one or two of our Blu-ray uh, baits. Today I'm going to do a bomb, what they call a bomb Blu-ray trace. It's one of those big, mushy, smelly baits that you can throw far. Obviously it's for clipping purposes. What we require for that? Sharp knife, chocker hammer, latex cotton, obviously a Natal sardine, mustard 7-0 Kendall round, 27 kilo Maxima Ultra Green. Okay. To start off with, we take our sardine. Just measure out roughly where you want to cut. So I want to cut about there. This is the tail part that I'm cutting. Okay, cutting off the tail. And then just slightly give it a bit of shape. Take our Kendall round and run it along the backbone. That's the tail part, but the backbone. So you're going quite deep, as far as you can, and you pull it out. Move it all the way down. So it sits like that. So now that hook is actually sitting against the backbone, it doesn't move too easily. Take our latex cotton, and we're going to put a lot of cotton on. So now that, there is our base of our bait that we're going to be using. That's pretty much the base that we're going to be using. Okay. Obviously the head has got a lot of blood, a lot of smell in it. So that's the part that we're going to use the most of. What we try and do is we just take the gills out. Okay. We've got the gills over here, the smell over here, and of course all that stomach part in it. So first of all, I'm just going to do this. It makes life easier for me. I'm exposing all of that, the heart and everything, the thick part of the chocker hammer, and we're going to break down all the hard parts, the bone in the head. There is, however, this hard part here, which we pull out. There's the one out. And the second part is giving me a hard. There we go. We're then going to start wrapping it around. So there's a lot of the gills, the blood, the smell, the heart, all in one over there. And again, it's still the hard part of the actual sardine. We're then taking this part, which has got the stomach in. We're going to cut it down the center. And try and cut the backbone up as much as you can. Again, thick side of the chocker hammer. And this does get messy. You're exposing as much of that blood and hitting as much of that blood into the actual bait. Okay, there we go. Now let's take this side first and wrap it around the side. Trying to get it nice and as round as possible for casting purposes.
Okay. The next spot. And there we go guys, there is a big juicy blob sardine bait for Blu-rays. Very simple, very easy, you use the whole sardine, there's very little wastage in it, but that as it defrosts, this bait is just going to ooze sardine out. And that's pretty much all the wastage that you have in that whole sardine, a little bit of gills, a little bit of tail and of course those two little bones that are quite hard in it otherwise that's the entire sardine used in this blob bait there we go you can clip it you can throw it as far as you want just remember one thing about blu-rays they like holes so if you've got a sandbank sandbank with a deep trough in it um, definitely one of the, the places to look is in the deeper holes the hound sharks, unfortunately, and gullies, spotties, and stuff like that, love this bait as well. Um, Blue rays do like some scattered rock as well. That's just another little feature that you look for when fishing for blue rays. Yeah, in case it in. Here we go, guys. A simple, easy bait that'll catch you your your blue ray. And you can see how it's starting to ooze all the blood out. There we go, look at that. And that's just going to leach out into the water the whole time. So Mike looks as that.